to how to you view let's explain columns so in this video i'm just going to be talking about the new uh column pendulum archetype that's come out to tactical masters which is valence now valence um look very similar to mech knights so anyways they involve yes the usage of columns i don't see any difference um they reprinted a card which was quite you know expensive before you know senate switch which you can use with this archetype is this a revival of the column mechanic highly unlikely is this the way forward um i'm not too sure really valence i have to say you know is it gonna be relevant as a pendulum mechanic not really pendulums have been dead since they've lost electromite so that is yet to be seen um yeah so essentially with columns in yugi it's very interesting ever since the release of imperm which i'll talk about later in this video um columns have really become a big part of Yu-Gi-Oh! and definitely imperm has ingrained into our minds you know like beware of the column respect the column otherwise you will get punished by the imperm column i believe i really like imperm a lot as it's made us care about a mechanic that Konami introduced that we never cared about before. Even though it's only to a minuscule level, it is to a level that is strong enough that has affected our game to this very day. And that is definitely definitely something that should be commended and definitely something that we should uh, think about when it comes to columns. And hopefully we'll see some more um, game breaking mechanics in the future that help us play the game in a more tactical and a more a mechanic that you know have been introduced in 2017 you know during the time the start of the link format oh isn't that nice used with links which were in 2017 anyways columns have been a mechanic in yugi that have been there for quite some time with you know rampaging rhino one of the older cards in yugioh and then a particular alien card has that uh you know an alien monster has that card as well i believe it's called alien infiltrator and another continuous spell called senate switch anyways these four cards have been one of the have been the only cards in uh, the game that have had a color mechanic input input in them but you know over time especially during the link mechanic we have had other column based cards but I think one of the best column based cards of all time is Inf Infinite Impermanence. But before Infinite Impermanence, we had, um, you know, the Mech Knight monsters, which all are based on a color mechanic, on how they summon themselves, how, they, how the whole archetype works, you know, their continuous spell, their continuous trap, and all of these things work on the basis of the color mechanic. Even the whole link mechanic itself during Master Rule 4 format, you know, you had the extra monster zone where you could put links and then you'd have to put um monsters from the extra deck under the link markers you know during the link format obviously now in master 2020 we don't have to care about extra monster zone but back in master 4 uh the you know columns are really very important and the game was much more skillful we couldn't just uh spam monsters out from the extra deck willy-nilly you needed a link monster first but leaving that aside why do I say that Infinite Impermanence is one of the best column cards that has that has come about in Yu-Gi-Oh for all time? One of the reasons is is that Infinite Impermanence is versatile, flexible, and easy to activate. These three things have made the implementation of this uh, color of the, this column-based mechanic design on this card absolutely fantastic. So let's go over Infinite Impermanence and why this card is so good. So first of all, Infinite Impermanence is a normal trap. And Infinite Impermanence has the picture of Cyber Dragon Infinity on the on the card. So that's the cover that's the cover picture that is on uh, Infinite Impermanence. But leaving that aside, why is it so good? First of all, um it's first one of its first first line of text it says that this card can be activated from the hand if you control no cards so instantly it already is given itself another form of activation that it can that it actually functions as a hand trap it's a tra it's a ha it's an actual hand trap 
in Yu-Gi-Oh! A trap that can actually be activated from the hand, living up to its namesake. So there's that going for it. The, um, and so what is its effect? Its effect is, is that, you know, it can target a monster and negate that card's effect. Furthermore, cards negate, uh, you know, a card negated on its column, the spells and traps on the particular column cannot be activated. So first things first, one, it has a activation condition that's easy to activate. Two, it not only negates a monster effect, but a spell or trap card under the same column that it was used. Three, it is versatile. This means being able to be activated from the hand means that this is a card that can be activated in any phase. So extremely flexible, extremely versatile, and yeah. And really, there's been no other card, column card in the game that has cut, that has been so close, that has been as good as Infinite Impermanence. That's pretty much it. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands.